Hey guys, it's Noah. Welcome back to the channel, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of live commentary. Um, it's gonna be an update on the channel, kind of. Um, I don't even know what the background footage is gonna be for this. But, um, frankly, I just want to talk about the NFL for a second. Um, as most of you probably know, um, along with any other content creator you watch on YouTube that does the same thing I do, they probably are a customer of NFL Game Pass. And NFL Game Pass provides a thing called Coach's Film, or All-22. A wide camera angle with no scoreboard or user interface over it um, that shows all 22 players on the field, hence the name All-22. And that's what I and many other YouTubers use to create uh, the sort of videos that we do the film reviews, the film analysis, whatever it may be. And um, shortly before this season began, uh, All-22 was removed off of Game Pass, inexplicably and without warning. There was no information regarding it being removed, there was no warning that it was going to be removed. If you went to uh, NFL Game Pass website, the day before it was removed and you bought NFL Game Pass, the description would have told you that all 22 was included, yada yada yada, and that you were going to get all these services. Well, it got removed. Um, and I was a little upset because I, you know, I paid for a service and I'm not getting that service, which is quite literally false advertisement. Um, but whatever, I was willing to let it go because they said the reason being, oh, we're revamping our website for the 2022 season, or 2021-22 season, and we're revamping the website, and we're just going to, you know, overhaul the UI for all 22 and the whole website. So I let it, I let it be. I wasn't that upset. However, they lied about the dates that it was going to return. They said it was going to be ready um, during the preseason. It wasn't. The, ent the entire preseason came and went. There was no All-22, so you couldn't review anything on the uh, on the preseason. Then they said, oh, well, don't worry. It'll be ready in time for the, reg the start of the regular season. That didn't happen either. It was not ready for the start of the regular season. Then they said it was going to be ready for uh, by the end of week one, early week two. And you guessed it. It was not ready by the end of week one, beginning of week two. And they pushed the goalpost even further and said, Oh, well, don't worry. It'll be ready by the end of week two, early week three. And it did come back. It came back, I guess, at the beginning of week three. Um, but when it returned, uh, it came back in a state that is just not usable. Um, for example, you go to click on a play, I'll, I, maybe I'll even record myself trying to do this and I can put it as background footage, I don't know, I'm just really upset right now. Um, you would go to click on a play that you wanted to watch from the coach's film angle, and it won't even show you the correct play. It'll show you a random play uh, throughout the game, won't even show you the one that you've clicked on. Um, and to get it to work, you have to click on the play previous to it. It'll start showing that play, and then you have to click back to the play that you actually want to watch. And <laughs> they introduced a new user interface with the pause play button that, um, that covers the entire screen until the snap of the ball. The NFL edited out all the pre-snap, um you know, adjustments and people running in motion and whatnot. And the play only starts at the snap of the ball. They also took away the ability to watch film from previous seasons, which they had. You could watch film from seasons all the way back to 2012, I believe. Uh, they took away that. You can't watch any of the pre-snap motion and the user interface covers the screen until the snap of the ball. The reason they did this is simply to try to wash out people like such as myself and, and Jackson Kruger Sports, another great channel, go check them out. Um, they did this to simply try to wash out the YouTube community that creates videos like I do. Because the NFL, a company that 
is worth over $150 billion and generates over $20 billion in revenue every single year is just that greedy. They need the pennies on the dollars that YouTubers make by reviewing film. They are that greedy. Um, I, I, I cannot accurately describe how angering this is. Uh, this is upsetting. The <laughs> And the reason I know that it it's an attempt to try to make Coach's film and All-22 not as effective for the average paying customer is because if you were to go and look at the NFL's own YouTube channel with uh, Brian Baldinger or, or uh, Kurt Warner's YouTube channel, they have access to All-22 film with no user interface that covers it. They have access to All-22 film with pre-snap uh, motion and audibles being made. They have access to old film. So the NFL is purposefully making the paying customer get less than their analysts. And I guess, you know, there's going to be some bootlicker that comes in here and tries to tell me that it's within their right to, to uh, you know, give their, give their employees more than what the average person pays for. But the problem is, <laughs> is this is not what we were promised. We, I paid for a program or a, a, a product that I paid for last year that included that. And then they've just pushed the goalpost and and uh, changed what the product is without any warning. They did not tell us that this is what this was going to be, or I wouldn't have paid for it. And it's unfortunate because I really like doing YouTube videos, and I've been busy with school, so I haven't been uploading a lot. But I don't know. That that is um, shady to say the least. Poor business practices shady and shame on you nfl I, I i know it means nothing coming from a guy who has 1300 subscribers and makes youtube videos they they're not gonna see this they don't care and even if they did see this they wouldn't care but shame on you shady business practices all around um and i don't know i i really don't know where to go from here um as far as making videos because the product is just unusable it's not feasible for me to use can i get recordings of plays yes but it quite literally takes four times as long considering how glitchy the program is and how poor the quality of the film that they upload is meanwhile the the people on payroll for the nfl get access to uh to all the film they want in perfect quality with with no edits to it so uh yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really angry. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Um, I had a lot I wanted to cover this season, and I think this season's been really interesting. There's a lot of players I wanted to talk about. There's a lot of teams I wanted to talk about. And um, I don't know. The NFL is kind of uh, stomping it out of YouTube right now. I don't... It's, um, I'm just not having fun trying to use this. I've been trying for weeks now, um, to get this all 22 to work in the ways that I want it to so I can try to produce decent videos. And I would rather produce no videos than produce bad ones. And, uh, yeah. So I apologize if this was kind of random. I, I didn't have anything written down. I just sat down and turned on the mic and started talking. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I, I don't know where I'm going to go from here, to be honest with you. I, uh, I guess I'm going to try to make all 22 work. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to be positive about it and just make it work with what I have. But it is a, a blatant attempt by the NFL to stomp out the little income that YouTubers make from doing this anyways so that they can garner it for themselves. And if that isn't shady to you, then nah, I don't know what to tell you. But um, if you made it this far, thanks for listening to me ramble and rant. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to figure something out. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to comment them. Um, oh, I guess I should mention that I have a Twitter. 
Um, there's nothing posted on it. I, I don't really like Twitter, to be completely honest with you. Um, but it's at Turf Spotlight, same at and logo as on uh, as on YouTube. Um, I also have an Instagram, uh, same at and logo, Turf Spotlight. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to figure something out and uh, produce more videos for you guys. Thanks. Bye.